Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 3452 SNNB. This is a PEMCO 3452. That's the important thing to know. This is the 3452 is representative of the fact that this is a it's a door sweep that has an integrated drip cap. The SN in the part number stands for satin nickel. Now, if you would please study that. This is what Pemco's satin nickel looks like. So know that prior to purchase. This camera is fairly, or the camera view is fairly faithful in representing the color. The NB, that means nylon brush. Now, let's talk about the color and insert material variations. On a 3452, you're going to be able to do it in the mill aluminum finish. You'll be able to do it in the cl uh, the bright dip gold, which is a shiny reflective uh, bright dip gold, bright BDG bright dip gold, uh, reflective metallic, even closer to polished brass than anything naturally. Clear anodized aluminum. It would be an anodized aluminum over the aluminum. Dark bronze anodized, uh, painted white anodized, gold anodized, which would be a matte sort of gold finish. Uh, satin nickel as you see here. The insert material, you can do a vinyl fin, you can do the NB for nylon brush, you can do the PK, which is a synthetic sort of rubber uh, material from uh, Pemco called Pemcoprene, is what it's referred to. And that covers all of the variations of this item. Okay. Now, there is an image below this video showing the important dimensional properties. Let's go over that now. You can see from that image this unit is inch and a half overall height. And this is coming a little heavy on inch and a half, but nonetheless it's right there. Inch and a quarter worth of the aluminum, and that's where the heaviness is coming in. Uh, and then also your drop is about a quarter inch, and that appears to be fairly accurate. The projection of this is half of an inch, and that's typical for this, obviously for this sort of sweep. Half inch projection. Hard to see that really on the camera. That's half of an inch they're getting to. From the face of the door to the exterior of the drip cap. Now drip caps are incredibly effective for helping drive water away from that, that line of defense you have underneath the door. If you can kick the water out a half of an inch, you've done a great service to helping prevent get it underneath. Okay? Uh, people who have used drip caps uh, come to rely on their use in future installations not only at the bottom of the door, but they're available at the header as well in either the same sort of profile or a much larger two and a half inch projection. And that would again go on the header. Those are very commonly seen in ex uh, exterior commercial applications, not so much residential, but occasionally you'll see the smaller one, that's for sure, above windows as well. Now, this is going to be a uh, nylon brush. Why would you want nylon brush over vinyl or the, the uh, synthetic uh, rubber from Pemco. Nylon brush does a great job. It helps seal an irregular surface. If my fingers represented that irregular surface, it, it just really contours itself very well around that. Now, naturally, your surface won't be that irregular, but if you had very small irregularities, uh, a nylon brush is perfectly suited to get and completely seal that area. Where something rigid, like vinyl, is, of course, less capable of that sort of seal. So now that brush, brush is a great option uh, for an irregular surface. Available in several different lengths on the website. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to trim the material back to. The reasoning is this. If you had to take this 36 inch piece and cut it down to say 32 inch, you'd eliminate that slotted hole. And the next one's all the way over here. So you'll be stuck drilling another slotted hole and that's, of course, tough to drill a slotted hole. <laughs> You're going to want the slots from the factory so that you can tailor this to a sill that's not level or maybe a door that's not plumb. Maybe to compensate for a misdrilled hole as well. You know, when you're pre-drilling the screw hole, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit before it pierces in, regardless of drilling into wood or steel, fiberglass, aluminum, bronze, whatever the bit. If you've not used a center punch, it will probably give you a small amount of wiggle uh, on the end of it. So keep that in mind. If you ordered a custom length, we'd not only locate that first slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge, but of course the proper center to center as well. 
Speaking of those holes, screws are included in a complimentary finish, as seen there. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full Pemco product catalog and review all things weather stripping related from Pemco. Not only door sweeps, but thresholds, perimeter gasketing, material made of aluminum like this, stainless steel, architectural bronze as well. And I'm partial to Pemco, and it's because of a very comprehensive offering of both product line, but excellent customer service and technical support. If you have any questions on the Pemco 3452 SNNV, satin nickel uh, nylon bristle door sweep with a drip cap or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.